Hello everyone, my name is Ellen. I have been to the U.S. on a study tour a couple of years ago. I'm Vanessa and I've studied in Paris for a month, a few months ago. Hello, I'm Dory. I joined a summer camp at Chicago a few years ago. Today we're going to talk about some differences between Taiwanese, American, and French school systems. This is based on our personal experience and observations. And here are two pictures of in-class scenes from Taiwan and the U.S. From these two pictures, we can tell that there's a big difference. In our video, we, are, we will introduce the different school cultures and some possible factors and details. I have been to the U.S. on a study tour, and I find the teaching pattern of the teachers are really different from ours. For instance, in American schools, we usually are required to share our opinions. While in Taiwan, the teachers give lectures mainly on their own and the students are mostly the listeners. For instance, while I was in American classes, my classmates and I were arranged in groups and we were asked to discuss about the topics. We were also required to share our ideas in front of the class. I think this results in American students being more active learners, whereas Taiwanese students rather passive comparing to American students. Yeah, I agree with you. And as far as I know, French students are required to take philosophy courses since middle school. What makes this so important is that the students are no longer just the listeners. They will start thinking and cultivate critical and independent thinking abilities. One of the biggest differences between Taiwanese and the Western country students is the school timetable. In Taiwan, take my high school as an example. I started school at 7.30 in the morning and finished class at 5.30 p.m. The time I spend in school is 10 hours each day. But as for American high school students, take one of my friends who studies in Boston as an example she went to school at 9 a.m and got off at 3 p.m she only spent six hours at school but i believe what we've learned are the same and she did even even better as for the taiwanese education system and culture it's famous for students attending cram school after required school hours cram schools usually takes up a whole night and students still have to finish their assignments after cram school Compared to the U.S., when I joined the camp in Chicago, the American students told me that they don't have such thing as the cram school. In contrast, the only reason they joined something similar to cram school is to make self-improvement on the subject they're actually interested in. And um, when I was in Paris during the summer, I met a friend from local area and she told me that only nearly 5% of the students in France go to cram school or have a tutor. We discussed over the factors that lead to such differences between Taiwanese and other countries' school system. And we conclude a few possible factors, which are social norms, parents' expectations, and employment environments. In Taiwan, we have always been told that the better school you get into, the more successful you're likely to become. So most of the students go under the pressure of getting good grades and going to top schools. However, one of my American friends told me that it's not what they are taught. Good grades and top schools are not everything. So they are free to find out what they really like instead of studying all the time. And there's also parents' expectation. Taiwanese parents have high expectations for their kids and honors the parents if the kids get into good schools and get well-paid jobs. So sometimes the parents may put pressure on the kids to study. But in the U.S., the parents encourage their children to find different things and in order to explore themselves and find out what is suitable for them. Another possible factor I've observed is the employment environment. My brother is currently studying in Japan and sometimes he shares some ideas that he has heard from some school brothers and sisters. One thing that surprises me is the huge pressure Japanese undergraduates face, the necessity of diplomas. In fact, in Taiwan, diplomas are important as well. It seems that someone's success is studying performance marks his success in everything. However, diplomas to students from Western cultures seems to represent ma majorly their uh, learning attitudes and their pursuit and passion for a certain subject. Thus, 
Based on my observation upon Japanese students, Taiwanese students, and American students, the differences in diplom diplom employment environments is an important cause of such difference in their school systems. After discussing and exchanging our personal experience, we think that each school system has its pros and cons, and we can't directly change our systems into the same as others, because we all share different cultural backgrounds. However, critical thinking is still important. Therefore, we suggest Taiwanese teachers think of alternative ways for their students to cultivate the ability of critical thinking.